Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my top 10 Black Mirror episodes list. And here's the thing. I binged through this series, you could say. And not, like, by a huge amount. Like, I went through it in a couple weeks, so it's not like I went through it in a day or a single week. But I, I went through a series that would normally probably take me a few months and went through it in only a couple weeks. So to me, that's binging. And you may be thinking, like, oh, but don't you not like binging shows? And the answer to that is yes, normally. There are some exceptions, and this is one of them for one specific reason. Black Mirror is an anthology series. That means that each episode is its own separate story. It is its own separate story. It has its own characters, its own plot, its own focus. And, and the episodes, in a lot of ways, will connect together in some, to some degree. Um, it, it's very much implied, especially within a couple episodes, that the events of all of the series are all taking place within the same universe, all in the same world, or I guess technically country the, with the UK, that they're all taking place within the same timeline. Um, that is very heavily implied, but they're all separate stories nonetheless. And in the case of an anthology series, that is a show I can binge. Um, I did it with uh, Love, Death, and Robots, which I, you know I reacted to on the channel. Um, it, it's, the, it, it's because of the nature of it. Because each episode is something new, I can watch it without having to wait a week to see, like, oh, what's this cliffhanger going to bring? Oh, what's the story beats going to lead to? Um, normally, I like to wait on that because it builds up the tension. It builds up the suspense, the interest factor. But you don't have to really do that with an anthology series because each episode is its own thing. So yeah, that's how I'm able to binge through something like that. Um, and I really did binge through this because I really loved it. It was just so, such a fantastic series. Um, each episode was so good in its own way. In fact, I, I would not say any episode was outright bad. There were some episodes I liked a lot less than others, um, but I would say there were none that were outright bad. It's one of those few shows that I think really, really did well at that. Um, but I don't know if I would put it as one of my favorite shows because of its, uh, it, its uh, nature as an anthology series. But yeah, overall, it did really well. And... When episodes really got it right, like my favorite episodes, as you'll see on this top 10 list, they really got it right. Like these episodes, my te top 10 favorites were like, it, they blew me away. Let's put it that way. They blew me away. Now, for those who don't know, Black Mirror, like I said, is an anthology series. Uh, and it has a huge focus on kind of this almost future-like technology, but technology you could reasonably see happening in the near future. Like technology that doesn't seem like it's as far off as you would think for something like that. I won't go into any of the spoilery details regarding what kind of technology is involved in that. Um, but I will say that it gets pretty insane um and again it's all stuff that you could reasonably imagine and in some cases it's actually stuff that actually does to a degree exist currently which is also kind of scary to think about um the series kind of takes a very sci-fi route to it a lot of times but there's also certain episodes that are definitely more drama based uh and there's very few that actually kind of delve into a little bit of horror. And it, it kind of blends a lot of these different styles, a lot of these different focuses really well. And, and it seems to be very much a kind of warning almost on the dangers of technology and the dangers of an overly technological society. Um, but at the same time, it's it's kind of like, it's what you think about, like, when you think about stuff like Terminator and whatnot with the entire Skynet issue. It's like, yeah, but there, there's all this stuff that could potentially be dangerous about 
such a futuristic technological society. But at the same time, it's like we would obviously take a lot more precautions for that because honestly in stuff like this, movies and shows like this, honestly, a lot of the people, a lot of humanity has to be kind of dumbed down a little bit to make a lot of this possible. Like, a lot of these technologies, a lot of these issues with them would not happen in real life. That's where the science fiction part comes in, because it, it definitely exaggerates how it would go just a bit. Uh, just enough to still make it believable, but still enough to where it's, it's not quite realistic. <laughs> um... And especially because shows like shows and movies like this do exist, obviously people will take better precautions with this kind of stuff in real life. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I've really in enjoyed the hell out of this show. And like I said, when it got it really right, it did really get it right. So you're gonna see my ten favorite episodes. As always, the uh, list itself will be down in the description below. I link to it on Google. Uh, photos and bit shoot uh, just for copyright reasons the link will be um, the list itself will be in video clip style and I'm probably going to use the clips of like the trailers that I can find on YouTube for each episode because each episode had their own little trailers and stuff um, if you want to know specifics about any of my choices any of the options on my list feel free to ask um, but the basic uh, idea behind my choices is just personal enjoyment, how much I enjoyed it, and how much, like, the characters, the writing, the pacing, all of that came together. So, yeah. Uh, check out the list um, at your leisure, and tell me down below what are some of your favorite episodes of Black Mirror. In the meantime, uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy the list.